Are you a public speaker and you're trying to figure out how to best engage your audience? Well, today we're going to talk about creating an experience, not just a talk. How to create an experience that will fully engage your audience. Stick around. Hi, the Trigger, Rich Bontrager. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators. And today we're going to talk about creating an experience for the people that you give your talk to. You may be giving the same talk over and over again. And after a while, it just becomes the same talk over and over again. I want to change that into an experience that will help you as a speaker and pull your audience into what it is you're saying and actually elevate your entire game and raise you up as a great speaker. I've been speaking for 25 years as a broadcaster, as a pastor, as a leader, and I've learned a lot about how to create the audience and create the experience, and I want to share that with you today. As we get rolling, subscribe to my channel. Leave a little comment down below. Give me some feedback and hit the bell. That will pop up, and when you hit the bell, you will get a notification of every time I upload another talk to help you improve at leadership, public speaking, or defying the odds of life. But today... We're going to be talking about creating an experience as a public speaker. And the first thing you need to understand is you need to command the stage. It doesn't matter if you're on a big stage, if you're just in an office cube with a bunch of other leaders. It doesn't matter if you're at a Boy Scout camp. You have a stage that you've been given, and you need to command that stage. First tip in this is write down a proper introduction for you to come out on stage. Someone else needs to introduce you as the expert, as the authority, and give them some reasons why you are the authority, and set the stage, and you need to step on and own the stage. Now, don't just stand behind the podium. Please don't stand behind the podium. Move out away from it. Move to the right and the left. Come forward on the stage. Do different things and literally use it as a stage. All the world is a stage, right? We've heard it. And so often as public speakers, we don't use the stage as a stage. So, second thing I want to point out is know your audience. Adapt your talk to them. You're probably going to give the same talk many times over. The content is great, but how you present the content is so important. Do a little research in advance. Scout them out. What's their verbiage? What's their slang? What's the lingo of this thing? What's the environment they work in? What are the dangers of the environment they work in? Get to know the things that really are their language and their style and adapt your talk to fit them. So when you come in there, you're not talking a foreign language. You're talking their language. Get to know your audience. The third thing is engage your audience. Don't just make it a talk where you just repeat yourself and you've done the same talk over again. I'm talking about there's an invisible glass between you and the audience. It's an unspoken barrier. It's in every audience all the time. Your job as a great speaker is to break the glass. Find a way to step up. Make this experience a true experience. Ways to break the glass? Sight. Sound. Senses. Tell a story. Have a good laugh. Literally, instead of just asking a question... Ask a question and give them time to give you real feedback. Ask them to shout things out. Lean up and shake a hand and engage somebody personally. Break the glass in whatever way you can do to let them know, I really want to engage with you. It will raise the whole room energy up. People will stay so excited to hear the next thing you have to share. And it will create that experience that they will never, ever forget. Fourth, I want to point out the idea of you need to enjoy yourself on the stage. So many speakers get up there and it's professional, it's stiff, you're a robot. Shake it all off and actually give a talk where you get to have fun. You're passionate, you're energized, you want to give this away to somebody because it's important. Give them a smile. Have a good chuckle in a minute. If you blow something, blow it big, don't just blow it bad. Blow it big, make it part of the experience, and just keep right on going. But find ways to enjoy what you're doing. Share personal stories that will illustrate something and enjoy recounting that experience. 
Finally, let me tell you about point number five. Surprise your audience. Audiences come to the movies and theaters to be wowed. Did you know they come to hear you talk and to be wowed? Find a way to surprise them. Now, there's a couple different ways you could do this. Oprah Winfrey did it for years. She would have a celebrity on her show, and at the end, surprise, all of you get a free book today. Surprise, all of you get a free coupon. Surprise, you all get movie theater tickets to go see them on stage tonight. Find a way to give a takeaway or surprise that they did not expect. One way is a free digital download of whether you have a little booklet, a full book. Give them a free digital download of something you have. Give them a coupon to go back to your website and allow them to get something at a reduced discount. Or perhaps, literally, give something away. I know of speakers that have had corporate deals, they give something away, and it's big. Give a wow factor, give a takeaway, or give a takeaway that they can just take home and say, you know what, do this this week. And then give me a feedback and let me know how, how it went for you. How did this principle that you applied actually play out? Contact me and let me know. I would love to hear from you. So today, let's do that. In the comments section down below, give me some feedback. Do you know how to really have an experience with a talk? Or do you just know how to give a talk? Do you want to learn more about how to have an experience with a talk? Write down your questions. Give me some feedback. What's the number one thing you learned here today to help you raise it to an experience and not just another speech? Give me a like. Give me a comment. Give me a share. And, of course, hit that bell so you never miss another leader or communicator right here. Until next time, I'm the Trigger Rich Bondrigger. God bless and have a great week.